Welcome to part three of my search to find out the best version of Lee Haney, at least as far as the Olympia stage is concerned. This is 1987 versus 1988, and there's a strange reoccurrence here. It seems every comparison so far, there, it's hard to mix and match the poses, but I can plainly see that the, the second round matches, they all have a lot of good comparisons, a lot of the same poses. So it's actually good in a way. It makes the second round matches a little bit better. But this one wasn't too bad. We got an exact pose here, which is good to see. And in my firm belief, 1987, he was much more muscular. He had a little bit more meat everywhere. Looks like he lost a little bit of mass there in 88. Now, I'm no expert, but then again, maybe I am. But I do see some gyno in 87. Therefore, if put up against an equally good version without gyno, 87 could be in trouble. But it's a good version. Let's have another comparison. Yeah, it's a little, little harder to tell from the 1988 picture here. Not very clear at all. So even if he did have the conditioning, I don't think we'd see it. I see some more gyno there in 87. See that? You see, I'm no expert on all this reactions towards the steroids and everything like that, but gyno is just like a, a fatty deposit, I believe, around the nipple, also known as female dog breast or bitch tit. Pardon my bad language. Anyway, I don't know who to really give a point to here. Like I said, the clarity is just impossible to make a decision. Let's have another comparison, shall we? And of course, it's not a direct comparison, as per usual. And disappointingly, there's no back shots yet. He had a nice, perfect, good rear lat spread pitcher in 1987, but no rear double by. He had a perfect rear double bicep pitcher in 88, but no rear lat spread. So it's, it's kind of confusing. But like I said, the next round matches are going to be awesome. This one's a little hard to tell, like I said, uh, 87, or 88 rather, is actually doing a good job in comparing the chests and things, the pecs and things of that nature. Doing a really good job until you look at the calves. See the uh, left calf there, the inside piece, looks much better in 87, as well as the thighs. Um... I am going to lean towards 87 in this contest. I do believe that he was much more muscular and thicker. But I do have this one last comparison just to just to prove that I'm not trying to be biased. Because the rest of his body, besides the tricep now, it does actually look better. He's hitting it from a different side. you notice that? It shows some uh, weaknesses in Lee Haney's um, symmetry here. His left... I believe his left tricep is not as big as his right one, although his pec looks better on that side. Do you notice that? Interesting. Well, at least I think I like that bow, not the split. But that tricep alone is enough for a victory for 87 in this pose and in this entire competition, ladies and gentlemen. So the brackets are looking good here. We have 87. Right up there, and he doesn't have an opponent yet, but he will. The next match features 1989 versus 1990, and I am going to go out on a limb there and say 1990 is not his best year at all. 89, I have good high hopes for 1989. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's one to look forward to. I really hope you enjoyed this one. I really, really do. Anyway, have a good day.